Hey, it's GW coming to you live. One more movie review for tonight, and I think you guys will be all right. Hey, this is uh, Johnny Be Good from 1988. It stars Anthony Michael Hall, Robert Downey Jr., and Uma Thurman. A very young-looking Uma Thurman, who this was her first film feature film role. This is Johnny Be Good. This is by far, like I said, one of my most favorite films in the whole wide world. It's about Johnny Rocket Arm Walker, who just is about to graduate and he's going to be picked up and courted by every college in the United States of America. Johnny quickly learns that being good ain't all it's about. People get in the in the football world, people get, you know, elevated because they take bribes. Johnny quickly finds out he's in the center of an NCAA investigation into the recruiting tactics of some of these colleges. What makes this film also memorable is that Paul Gleason, who you guys might remember on The Breakfast Club, or if you've seen him, you know who he is, is also in the film as Johnny's high school coach. Now, I could say a million things about this movie, but what makes this movie great to me is that it's a goofball comedy that's smart and has a heart. Um, you see Johnny go from, I can get anything I want, to going, wait a minute, is the grass really greener on the other side? You see this whole transformation. And Robert Downey Jr., this is way before Iron Man, does a very cool job too. He was in Three Guys and a Girl in the Pizza Parlor. Check that out. But uh, this film is great. Um, and it's it's one of these things where, you know, reviews for this movie weren't good. At the time, there were so many Brat Pack pictures coming out. And these guys, Robert Downey Jr., Anthony Michael Hall, Uma Thurman, who was attached to the Brat Pack for a little bit, really didn't get their fair shake. This movie was pretty much dismissed. And basically considered a critical flop. I liked it though because it is different. It's not the St. Elmo's Fire sophisticated comedy drama that we're used to. I liked it because it was dumb. It knew it was dumb. It played off of it. And it had a heart. So here's the back of the DVD. Um... And like I just said, moving from limousine rides to all-night strip clubs, Johnny is in for the workout of, of his life. An education he'll never forget. And I already brought up the NCAA investigation. And Johnny actually does become an embarrassment to his family and friends because he walks around thinking he's untouchable. But, like I said, he learns a lot about himself. And Anthony Michael Hall, aside from doing Weird Science, and he was on a movie called At Close Range, which is, I don't think you can get it on DVD. Um, this was the film that I think people are going to remember him for. Coincidentally enough, they did film a video, music video, for Johnny B. Good. It's not on here. Which really bums me out because... It should have been included in the DVD. Regardless, there's one other thing about this film. Is that this is the regular DVD. Now when this thing was on VHS, and I rented it back in the day, there was a five minute scene that is now cut from this version. In which Johnny is partying, he's got stilts, he's got a helmet on, and it was cut. Why it was cut, I don't know. But there are two versions of this film. The rated version, which I have, and the unrated version. I think the unrated version was only a VHS copy. But if you're looking for a dumb, smart comedy, check out Johnny B. Good. Like I said, this film is my favorite. And I still walk down through the hall at work, shuffling around like Johnny does sometimes. Because it's just an awesome movie. And this is a movie that I wish critics were a little bit easier on. But considering the flood of Whack Pack or Brat Pack movies, I don't think they were too kind. 
But it's notable, like I said, for Uma Thurman's first performance in a film. Robert Downey Jr., I think this was his, this was either his first or second film. I don't know. And aside from Weird Science, this is Anthony Michael Hall's probably proudest and my most favorite film he's done. And I really like the kid. I really do. So check out Johnny Be Good, 1988. It's put out by MGM. And uh, you will not be disappointed. And uh, just remember, the movie teaches you, or the movie shows you rather, that even though you might be promised everything in the world, look at what you're really getting into before you jump. That's the message here. I can't say enough. The performances are awesome. The storyline's great. It's goofy enough to be a dumb movie, but it's smart enough to hold your attention, and it does have a lot of heart. Check out Johnny Be Good, 1988. I'll see you in the stands when Johnny throws a foot, throws a touchdown. Like I said, man, you keep watching them. I'll keep making them. <laughs>